Good morning. Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Shalisha, aka the Maniac Math Teacher. Uh, thank you for coming to my little corner of YouTube. I am in my ninth year of teaching and I teach kindergarten in Atlanta, Georgia. Go ahead and hit the like button on this video because I'm sure you're going to love the content. Go ahead and click the subscribe button down below and click that bell notification so that you don't miss any of the content. Good morning. I forgot to greet you before I left home, but I'm here now. Um, welcome to day three of classroom setup. So I'm just going to jump right in. I have made a list of things that I need to do. I'm looking around the classroom. I'm so proud that, to say that my better than paper stayed on the cement wall. I see one corner is lifted over the sink but I'd rather it just be one corner than you know the whole thing had been on the floor so that's good so I can go ahead and follow my list today check some things off and get ready but first I want to start with a small little book haul because one of the major things I want to get done on my list today is my library I want to go ahead and put the books in their bins label the bins and then any books that have not been labeled previously by me i'm going to go ahead and label those today so let's jump right in with this book haul. all right first we have the ever important ever so special all are welcome this is going to be a display book i think i'm going to put it in the display case then we have in my heart a book of feelings um kindergartners are not yet in touch with their feelings much less knowing how to express them so this is a great book and it kind of teaches them you know about each feeling and what to do when you're feeling that the ever so special i am enough so all great books to have for the beginning of the year oops i don't know why i'm trying to display them on the table like i'm not about to put them away don't need that a um, couple non-fiction things whose knees are these and this one is whose toes are these all about the body the alphabet book I was not paying attention when I purchased this and then I realized it was a small board book that's okay small hands can handle it at the beginning of the year walk and see colors it says, let's go for a walk, join a summertime stroll through the colorful countryside with lots to see from red to green and many shades in between. So, great to have when learning your colors. Kingfisher readers, and this one is Your Body. Now this book I did not realize was an indestructible book. So it is 100% washable, non-toxic, rip-proof, chew-proof, and it's called Big and Little, A Book of Opposites. I wonder if you can see the texture of the book if I hold it up. You see that? Yeah, that texture right there. It's 100% washable. It's 100% recycled also. It's a cute little book. I'm also trying to make my library more diverse as well as up my nonfiction books. So we have When Lola Visits. And I took the book jacket off, but I believe this is about um, a young girl whose grandmother visits her from across the ocean from a different continent. When Lola Visits. This one is, I want to say it's pronounced We we chan's gift and if it's not pronounced like that um i'll let you know later i saw this one on mrs call's campers it's called dandy mix a colorful story
I saw this one on a two. Oh wait, I saw this one when Lola visits in Weechan's gift on um, a tutu teacher on Instagram. So this one is Island Born. And I think the rest of these are from a tutu teacher as well. Yes, Grandpa Grumps. Drawn together. Dreamers. Um, I'm gonna stick with all the books from a tutu teacher. This is Just Ask. Each of us grows in our own way. And the last one from her, or maybe I saw this on Mrs. Call's campus as well, Jabari Jumps. And then the last one that I purchased, I wanted to get another one from this series, Ada Twist Scientist. All right, so that was my mini little book haul. I got all of those books from First Book Marketplace. I'm sure you have heard of them here on YouTube and on teacher TikTok and teacher Instagram. But First Book Marketplace gives you um, gives teachers a discounted rate on um, books. Um, all of these books were less than ten dollars, and they are, except for two, they are hardback books. All of them. So. For each book being less than $10 and for them to all be hardback except for two books, that's a great deal. Especially since hardback books run for about $20 each, roughly. So, what I'm going to do now is go ahead and plug my computers up, see what I'm going to do, uh, put my list on the board, and I'm going to get started. <laughs> some regular tape. I don't have any, so I'm going to go ask my teacher, Bessie. Come on in. Smile, you're on candid camera. Hi, Bestie. <laughs> Cleaning the mind. Come on, the door. <laughs> Hello. Oh my so she cleaned out all her closets, guys. <laughs> that was her goal. That was one of her goals, to get all her closets clean. Look at, look at all the stuff that was in the closets. This was all in your closets from when you moved in here last year? Yes. 
Y'all look at her. Ooh. This is so cute. It needs to be repainted. That is so cute. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. All right, y'all. I'll pick y'all back up in a second. A few moments later. All right. Going to take marker. My rare books are in their bins. Scratch that off of my list and show you if I don't trip over the box in the middle of the floor. So first, let's just say how I started this pile of books that I have doubles of. <laughs> Yikes. All right, now coming over here, I need another shelf. For these because I want to separate the non-fiction and the easy readers from the fiction and I was supposed to buy a three uh, a three shelf uh, bookcase but I didn't I forgot but here's what the library is looking like so we've got our seating our display these are the school books the school books that are on display will find their own bin. I have to label it. I forgot to label it before picking up the camera. Then here is my nonfiction section. I have so many animal books, it's ridiculous. Then we've got some book beginning of the year books displayed on top more beginning of the year books this book is just too thick to go in a book a, 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 a book bin so it'll just be up there forever and then oh I need a label for here but here is my fiction shelf and so the books that are on display over here will then go over here and I left these three empty because I still have like Seasons and Dr. Seuss and other themed uh, books that are in these. So once they go, they'll go here first during their thematic month or thematic unit, excuse me, thematic unit, they'll be displayed. When we're done with that unit, they'll go in one of the empty uh, book bins. So school books will stay out till the stay out until the end of August. They'll go over here and they may stay all year. I'm not sure yet. I may change them out once we're underway with school. And thematic books from these units will go here when we're done with the unit. They'll go in a bin for a month and then they'll go back in there. So that's the rotation I kind of want to have. I'm going to get that three tier shelf and put it right here. And so, yeah, this is the library. I just wanna give these extra books to my teacher bestie if she does not have, um, if she does not have them in her library already. Also, in case you're wondering how I applied my book bin labels, um, originally I was going to do Velcro dots, but the Velcro dots that I purchased were a tad bit too small, like microscopic. Not doing that. Would have had to put six on each book, time consuming. So I ended up using double-sided sticky tape, but I am going to replace the double-sided sticky tape with Velcro simply because... I'll be changing the I'll be changing a couple of them out like I have more nonfiction titles so I'll be changing them out so when I do that I plan on replacing it with velcro but for now we're using double-sided sticky tape so now that we've got that squared away the next thing I need to do is print my headers so that I can hang my wall decor Yes, let's do that.
right, dilemma, dilemma, dilemma. I want to hang this here on this window because this is my writing area. However, I don't know if I should paper the window first with that paper and then put that up or if I should just do it on the window. On one hand, I like all the natural light that it lets in, but I don't think covering this one window is going to change all the natural light I get from all the other ones. So that is the dilemma we have right now. Babe is helping cut out lamination. And I had to find all of these things from my decor last year because I'm gonna reuse them. And you saw me put this up and spray it with the matte spray so that it won't have a glare. Let's do the glare test. It doesn't look like it has the glare, so that's good. All right, back to work. about that time um but i've come across my next dilemma so my next dilemma is this i can't fit all of the students um book boxes right here um i could put them right here above their backpack hooks but it's hard for them to get them down from right here because they're so little. They're in kindergarten. They're so little. So I'm going to put them there for now. That's not where they're going to stay. Um, I'm thinking I may. I don't know, to be quite honest. I'm thinking I may. I don't know what I'm going to do. But right now I'm going to. I'm going to try to get the room first day ready so if I had to have kids in here tomorrow that's what I'm going to do now and then probably be done to the end of classroom setup day. What day is this, babe? Three. Three? So, this is where we are. Cubby's uh, student book bins are here. Their notebooks, writing center hasn't changed much. I haven't decided how I'm gonna do this, so it's still blank. But otherwise, writing center hasn't changed. My table now looks more organized. I have all of my wall things I need to put out, some stuff I started for the beginning of school and getting a little organized back there. Library area, the best seat in the house so far. So cute. These cute little rainbow lights were in the Target dollar spot. Um, I think they were in the Target dollar spot during Pride Month, but they're battery operated and i just thought those were cute then moving to the small uh center area i did not print my headers and i need to turn these lights off oh wait i want to show you the whole room with the light feel so far 
I'm 85% sure I'm gonna leave those lights right there. That light bulb looks like it's on, babe. The one without the shade in the camera, but it's not. 85% I'm gonna leave those there and I think I'm gonna put some string lights over there. I have three things of string lights. So then we just have this little stem area. Then we have some organization happening. I put tissues, Lysol, disinfectant wipes, sprays, all of that stuff down there, extra mask. The microwave has found its home. All of the supplies that were on this table have found a home. Those labels are ever so satisfying. And those will be linked in the description box. I got them off of TPT. Um, it was a bundle. Food that we ate. The cubbies, trash. The easel with my to-do list. And student area. Pencil sharpener, sharpen dull pencils. When they come in, they'll put their homework right here. If they have any catch-up work, they can get it out of there. I'm also gonna put another one beside it for their bright work. If they don't have any catch-up work, we just got manipulatives. Still have not finished my board, but I did add those two titles and we added those numbers. So, and the room is mostly clean now so all right guys so my battery died as i was trying to close out the vlog so when i start um classroom setup day four tomorrow i'll make sure to do a once around the room so you can see the entire the room in its entirety how i left it yesterday but i don't think that i was able to get um the entire room i just want to say thank you for watching thank you for supporting my channel make sure that you subscribe down below and click the bell notification so that you do not miss any of the classroom setup series or any content that i upload bye guys mm -hmm.